What the heck? What was, what was that? that? That's so weird. I'm weirded out. White figure just hanging out down here. Is that some like kids running around? Goes to children. Rolling children. All of our cameras are set up inside the engine house. I don't know, but it freaked me out. I don't like it. That is also where I had the cold spot feeling. Third floor goes to the SLS. I don't know what that means, but the fact that it mentions ghost. Oh my god. Hey Crypt Keepers, thank you so much for tuning into Amy's Crypt. Tonight we are back at the Haunted Borough Mine site. We have already been here. If you haven't done so already, go check out our part one episode because we've already picked up some really, really interesting evidence tonight. But we have something a little bit different planned for the rest of the evening, so stay tuned. The Burra Burra mine site dates back to 1850 when it became the largest metal mine in Australia, employing up to 1,000 men and boys. Death has sadly touched this site, with some dying during the mine's operational years. Just one reason as to why this place could be haunted. Many to visit have claimed to have paranormal experiences in the area including sightings of ghosts and capturing unexplainable sounds or even voices on recording devices. Tonight, we continue our paranormal investigation after already capturing some interesting evidence, which can be watched in the first part of this video series linked below. Go on then, show them. You've been dying to show you guys all night. He has been busting to show you this. You ready? Yeah, do it. Oh, it's so cool. This is, I guess, a working replica of what the engine house does. Look at that here. It's got all like... So all the workers would have climbed up these ladders and the shaft would have just been going like this up and down. All right, so now that's out of the way, let's show everyone what we discovered uh, from part one. Yes, so Amy was setting up the cameras and I started reading some of these um, historic, you know, billboards. And I read about this guy. So this is John Morfitt and this engine house is named after him, this Morfitt house. And it turns out he was born in... London. London, where is this at? 1809. Oh yeah, born in London, there you go. And this is really cool because if you watch the part one episode, Amy said London during the Estes method. And I just counted that as being random and didn't think anything of it. You don't want to tell me your name, how about telling me why you're here? London? You're from London. Then we wrote this. So, so did I. Maybe yeah. we were talking to this guy. What was that? Did you just drop something important? Hopefully it didn't fall down the crack. I didn't drop anything. Did you hear like coins drop or something? That was a coin. To this guy. What was that? To this guy. To this guy. To this guy. This is actually where you can put coins in to donate. No way. And they way. fall down the floor. What the heck? What, what was, was that? that? I hope it wasn't like our keys or something. Well, I've got... Literally all I have in my pockets. This one I have a torch. This one I have my phone. That sounded it's like, like a, a coin, coin dropping into the bottom, wasn't it? That was exactly what that sounded like. Put, we, you didn't you drop put any, the light on? You didn't drop anything? It didn't go down like no. Well, I'm going to just put the lights on for this whole joint, guys. And I'm going to turn this one off. So down here. So that we can look down here. You can see all the coins in the bottom there. Yeah, so this is where you can put donations, guys. Put donations in here. It's so weird. We were just literally talking about putting a donation in as well. We didn't have any coins. And you though. said to me, I only have a 20. A 20 donation. And we were looking for some coins. That's uncanny. That is crazy. I hope the camera wouldn't pick it up, right? Surely, that was so loud. I don't know what else that sounded like other than a coin. That was a coin dropping in there. I wish we could get down there. Oh my God. What the heck? Just down here. This is an accessible guys. Well, at least to us. That's exactly what it sounded like. 
Do we have like any coins in the car that we could find to put down there just to replicate that? <sighs> We're not quite, we don't normally have cash on us. I never have cash on me, no. When we, okay, after we're done wrapping this up, let's scour the car. I'm sure there's a coin buried in there somewhere. And we'll come back in here and see if we can replicate the sound to see if that was actually what we just heard. I'm shook. Okay, what, what we're doing now might actually pick up something else in here, right? So we're just getting ready to, so we've got the tripod set up. And we're gonna do an abandonment, right? So you guys seen us do an abandonment at the abandoned house. Abandonment in an abandoned house. <laughs> Pretty much what it means is we're gonna set up three or four cameras inside the building. We're gonna leave, maybe go for a walk or do something else. I think Amy's got a plan for us. And we're just gonna let the cameras roll so you guys can look and see what actually happens in here when we're not around. And I guess we're just making sure that the spirits are shy and they're not, they don't like being around other people. Maybe that gives them an opportunity to come out of the shell while we're not here. So. I think this is the perfect time to do it as well mm. because we just heard that that's so weird and weirded out. I'm officially, that's, yeah, yeah strange. I, I can't explain that. That is weird. Does that sound like kids running around? Yeah. Was that one of the birds, you reckon? Is that on the roof or was that over there? I don't know, but it's freaking me out. I don't like it. I don't like it at all. <laughs> the sound here was really odd and sounded a lot like kids running around. Though we weren't able to say for certain this wasn't somehow caused by the birds on the building's roof. Third floor goes to SLS, check. And we've got three capital stuff behind me. Yep. I just set a light out the window near you. Oh, really? Yeah. I don't know if you can see cars. I don't, I've got no idea. Weird. Second floor static cam with a ghost tube. Children. Rolling? Children. We just heard what we thought sounded like kids running upstairs. And with SLS. People have seen children here, right? Yeah. Or that heard cool. children. So far, like as soon as we press the go button, we've been getting know. stuff. Alright, there's All right. many children here that want to play. I've left some colourful balls on the top floor. You just need to go towards them, touch them, and they'll light up pretty colours just for you. Alright, let's get the last one wrong. Rolling now, I'm rolling now. Again, third camera, three in a row. Yeah. Okay, night vision, uh, first floor night vision with REM pod. That is also where I had the cold spot feeling. Do you reckon it's too close to the stairs? Uh, I mean, we're gonna have to remove it because it's going crazy. We're gonna have to reset it. Nuts. Just reset it. Okay, is that reset now? Yeah. That is crazy. So, three cameras. <laughs> three cameras, three bits of evidence straight away. Guys, we are not uh, staging this as, as yeah. it seems. All right, oh. so I think that is filming night vision now. Alright Crypt Keepers, all of our cameras are set up inside the engine house and that was kind of interesting. It seemed like every single one, as soon as we hit record on each level, something happened. So on the top floor we had something that sounded like a kid running. Sure, maybe it was the birds on the roof, but it, it sounded really odd. Then, uncannily enough, we go down to the next level, Ghost Tube spits out the word children which is relevant to this location and sort of what we heard. Then the bottom floor, the REM pod went off and acted all, all strange like. So the REM pod was also placed in the, the spot where in part one, I had that overcoming sensation of just really like a coldness just hit me right there. Do you feel that, Joe? 
Here what? I just hit here. It's like icy cold. All of a sudden. All right, so now what Jared and I are going to do, we're going to check out one of the ruins here. And then we're also going to walk up to a gravestone that is here on site. I don't know that there's any activity or hauntings around, but it's going to be a little bit of an adventure. Plus, we need to leave this alone anyway so that we can pick up anything on the abandonment regardless. So let's hike up this hill, Jared. <laughs> So guys, this is one of the ruins here. This is the Morfitt Winding House. Date is 1861, which is pretty cool. It's, it's right next door to the engine house. You can't see it here. Yeah, you really can't. Can you? <laughs> <laughs> but let's go take a peek inside. I don't know of any stories to do with this place, but I figure we're on our adventure. Maybe we'll pick up some EVPs or something. This reminds me of Moonta. So we visited uh, some of the old mine sites in Moonta, a couple of the engine houses out that way, also in South Australia, also said to be haunted. And yeah, we're more in a ruined state than what we've been looking at tonight. But isn't this cool? It is cool. No bees and pigeons at this one. Well, yeah, there's probably God. pigeons somewhere. <laughs> I'm sure there is. Guys, we're heading out to the grave now, but I'm gonna do some more shameless self-promotion <laughs> so this is uh this year's halloween merch that uh, jared and i worked really closely with one of my best friends to make just w illustrations i'm putting her instagram below so if you want to follow her make sure you're following amy's crypt on instagram as well while you're over there <laughs> but that would mean the world to me halloween october is not looking like how i had envisioned it or planned a lot of work went into not only this design but also getting some epic locations to access and investigate and spend the whole night and yeah everything's fallen apart border closures covid you know we're not doing so great on our vaccine rollout here in australia at this point in time i don't know if i can cross a state border that i need to to be able to film all this so i might not have a halloween uh bunch of episodes they'll come eventually just might not be in october so yeah if you want to support us check out the merch if you like the design you can get you know t-shirt poster jumper whatever you like but we are on our way out onto this like hiking path to head up to this grave now i just wanted to bring up the halloween stuff and it is really getting to me and breaking my heart that we can't travel or get anywhere and it's also been very difficult just to film within my own state, South Australia. So I'm very appreciative that I'm, I got permission to come out here and, and do this tonight. So exciting times are coming. They're coming. They might just be a bit late. Yeah, they'll eventually come. We'll eventually go there. <laughs> All right, now I can't see. Where am I? This way. Stop.
Yeah, I can't even see the trail. I think we're on it. Yeah. Don't fall over. I won't. I did actually almost fall over here in the day. And that was in broad daylight. Yeah, Amy's pretty clumsy. <laughs> You know, I figure while we're hiking out here, who knows if there are spirits around already, so we're rolling ghost tube now. Is there something? I actually can't see anything, bro. Yeah. Oh, here we go. <laughs> Captain's Cottage, we're getting close. Yeah, so there are, as I said earlier, ruins all around. So, there's another engine house down here in ruins, but there's a grave and there's a residence that I'm particularly interested in. It just... It has a story to go with it, so let's find the grave first. I think I can maybe see it. Oh, yep. Yeah. Kind of creepy. It looks like just this white figure just hanging out down here. Good evening, my name is Amy and I'm here with Jared and I'm interested to know if there's anyone around that would like to talk to us. Can you come forward and state your name please? I've got a message that says the name Henry Roach. Henry Roach. This isn't actually his burial though, right? No, so I didn't know about Henry's story until today. I came and read this placard here. But he was a captain here at the Barabara Mines. He, I'll show you the ruin where he lived in just a moment, but he lived here for 20 years. He, he lived a pretty long life, 81 years, but he did pass away. He didn't pass away here and he wasn't buried here. His uh, headstone was originally, was it somewhere? Somewhere closer to Adelaide and I guess when the lease was up on on his plot he didn't have any existing family members here in South Australia so they actually removed the headstone and they've moved it here right next to where he used to live for 20 years at the Barabara Mines. That's quite nice. It is nice isn't it? But it's also I don't know what would have happened with his body. Do they just leave the body there and then move the headstone? If anyone's watching and knows let me know because it it's not specific on the, the information. It does also say, I don't know if this is a Bible verse here, but man dieth and was of away, yeah, man giveth up the ghost, and where is he? I don't know what that means, but the fact that it mentions ghost, and that's what we're here to do, just interested me. So, literally just here, Just in here are a series of ruins, and one is the captain's house, so Henry Roach's house. So Captain Roach's house, dating to 1850. 
Oh, you might be able to see it on camera if I turn up the light. Hang on. And maybe switch the night vision on. Yeah, that's a good idea. Yeah, you can see it. So that's yeah. the remains of the captain's house. Which is cool. This isn't something we're going to go into or, or try to climb down to, you guys. It's barbed wired off and it's also, I guess, in ruins. So maybe they're fragile. I guess in ruins, so maybe they I guess in ruins, so maybe they I guess in ruins, so maybe they And that's also where the open cut mine is. <laughs> so Whoa. Right is that my breath? Edge. Oh my god, I can see it. Yeah, that's my breath. Oh my Is it coming onto the camera? Yeah. Oh my god. Yeah, that's my breath. That's crazy. Well, that just goes to show you guys how cold it is tonight. Yeah, it's freezing. Anyway, I'll have to stop breathing. <laughs> yeah, if you could just hold your breath, Jared. Yeah, that'd be great. <laughs> Alright guys, we've been out here a while. I haven't had a single hit on Ghost Tube and I'm not really picking up any vibes except that I'm freezing. <laughs> so I think we might head back towards the engine house. This was just an area not necessarily that is said to be haunted or ha I've heard any stories about. But it just interested me when I saw it today, so we thought that we would come out and pay our respects and say hi to Henry, if Henry is around, visit his home. But I say we head back and yeah, I wonder what's going on in the engine house. Okay, guys, we, we just ran, you didn't see it, but I think we got maybe swooped by a bird. <sighs> two, there was two. I just sent them past on my light. And we just and ran and... Then I just started running and Jared was like <laughs> So he started running and now he's pulled his neck. <laughs> yeah, he's not pulled his neck muscle. Oh I thought I just heard, um like rocks falling down like rock rolling rocks like on the road or something you didn't well, hear it we have just been i didn't hear it we have just been walking down here and these are yeah that noise there that's what i heard but it wasn't us well there ain't no one around so could have been an animal maybe or that oh my god let's get back inside <laughs> well we're nearly there now And we're back. We are back. So that was a really cold, brisk little walk. <laughs> sure was. Nothing really happened out there. Nah, but then again though, there aren't really any ghost stories that are centered around that grave. We just mm. wanted to pay a visit um, and pay our respects. And so. who knows, just because there's no ghost stories about a place doesn't mean it's not haunted or activity cannot occur there. That's but true. we also wanted to leave this place alone for a while and I'm excited to review the cameras. I have no idea what has happened. I've packed yes. everything else, uh, packed everything up in here. No idea what happened. Yeah, so. you guys already seen it because it's edited, of course, but we haven't seen it yet. So. Yeah. I'm excited because as we, as I said before, as we hit record on every camera, on every level, something happened. Yeah. So imagine I review it and there's nothing. <laughs> yeah. I, you know, honestly, I'm hoping that we caught the coin drop jingle sound because that was, is uncanny the word you use? It just, that was just very clear. Like, mm. I hope the, I hope that might picked up. It should have. To this guy, to this guy, to this guy. 
we both heard that clear as day that was and we were just talking about the coins mm. it was so weird i actually feel really weirded out not creeped out it wasn't something creepy but it was just so wow what yeah. the heck is down there because we can't access that there's nobody down there completely alone here. and we don't have any and coins so <laughs> <laughs> i actually just checked the car we have nothing no coins but yeah i'm super excited to review all the footage again guys if you haven't done so already go and check out part one we we caught some really cool stuff there as well yeah, a few cool um responses on the ss method mm. um a few noises here and there you got that cold spot right here behind us yeah so. that was a really strange sen sensation it mm. was you know when you walk for a sudden cold burst of the air i don't know it kind of creeped me out that did but yeah, also the REM pod went off right there as well. Yeah, the REM pod was actually acting a bit weird on that staircase. Mm. Yeah. I remember, guys. Well, yeah. What? Oh, I didn't rip your chair. Oh, I need to jump. I need to jump up. <laughs> uh, Halloween merch. Check it out. Uh, yeah. Not sure know, if Halloween episodes much, are going to happen. Yeah, I'm quite devastated, to be honest. They might still happen. Who knows? If things open up in the next four weeks we might get to film those Halloween specials, but that's assuming the venues can still have us. Yeah. Assuming we can get all the filming done. Yeah. But if There's that doesn't happen. There's a lot of what ifs, maybes that I just don't know, so. But anyway, even if even if the Halloween episodes don't air though, we're gonna put the these up anyway. So yeah. they'll be up until Halloween night. Yeah, maybe so a bit longer. Links below. We'll see. But I do want to say thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed this episode. If you did, please remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe. That really helps us out. If you want to do any more reading on this haunted place, head to amyscrypt.com. We also post bonus content on my Patreon and my YouTube uh, members, and they're linked below. And you can follow us on social media. Please do that. At Amy's Crypt, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, <laughs> TikTok. There's too many to remember now. <laughs> I know, and I'm tired. But thank you so much for watching Crypt Keepers. Until next time. Bye.